Why is the term Montmorillonite still associated with common bentonite? Because marketing collateral has yet to catch up with current scientific nomenclature. It's just dollars in marketing combined with commonly used terminology. Bentonites come from all over the world and have many uses, but they all have one thing in common. Montmorillonite crystals. Products are labeled 100% calcium bentonite, which really by exact definition means 100% impure clay. The good is in the crystals. The bad is in the toxic metals commonly associated with the clays. After many studies, the term bentonite has changed to an impure clay having montmorillonite crystals in it. Ask for a lab report. If they provide you with one, check for purity and remember the formula of montmorillonite. Buying an impure clay exposes you to more toxins and costs you more money. Why are montmorillonite crystals called a clay? It's not a clay, it's a colloid, smaller than a clay. Simply stated, bentonite is dirt mixed with colloid crystals. Why are there so many contradictory testimonials regarding the use of bentonite clay in the human body? In Africa, it was consumed by women during pregnancy, providing nutrition. After human migration, clays from different locations had detrimental effects on pregnancy. Geophagy was later referred to as a psychological disorder by American doctors. Native Americans used the clay for many remedies that could not be replicated in other parts of the Americas. Each clay from different regions of the world had differentiations that were adopted by those cultures. Not all clays were equal. Many testimonials and books regarding the healing properties of clays have led to a logical yet misleading concept regarding the terms clay, bentonite, and montmorillonite. The more impurities, the more you have to use, which exposes you to more toxins. The higher percent of montmorillonite crystals, the less you have to use, spending less money. A single teaspoon of a 99% montmorillonite is enough to last you a week. Compare that with vendors that recommend 1 to 12 teaspoons per day, and then count your pennies. How do montmorillonite crystals affect the body? Montmorillonite is an all-natural anti-inflammatory that via far infrared emissions changes the water in the blood, giving it the ability to pass freely through the areas of the body that are blocked because of various maladies. An ionic substitutional value, which removes harmful toxins, the crystals give the body the ability to create a healthy balance. Used as a poultice, the crystal sends energy from the sun into your body. The crystals adsorb toxins as it travels through your digestive system. There is scientific evidence that it reduces uric acid. Is a probiotic catalyst the catalyst for organic synthesis, a platform for tissue regeneration, and an antimicrobial. Proven and patented to kill diseases in livestock production. In agricultural fields, it's referred to as a wonder soil. Considered the origin of life, it is of great interest to astrobiologists searching for the possibility of life on other planets and is used in the exploration of nanotechnology. In a laboratory, scientists refine the crystals to its simpler constituents and have made breakthroughs in medicine, agriculture to both petroleum and space exploration. In its impure state, it is touted as magical and sold cheaply hidden behind an FDA GRAS rating that has allowed marketers to make claims based on the studies of the pure crystals. Montmorillonite crystals emit far infrared waves, increasing the water's mobility into the areas of the body that are blocked due to inflammation. What are far infrared energy waves? It's sunshine in a jar with a broom and dustpan. Montmorillonite emits at 10 degrees Kelvin, 10 microns of far infrared energy at full width half maximum. At room temperature, it also emits 10 microns. And the warmer it is, the stronger the emission. That's amazing. According to the United States National Library of Medicine, far infrared radiation has biological effects and medical applications. Studies show that the water in the body float easier that the far infrared radiated water's energy increases volatility and fluidity affecting the blood and lymph flow in the body. It also makes sugar and proteins more soluble. It affected bone growth, 
prostate health, killed cancer cells, and reduced tumor sizes. Nerve repair and a remedy for congestive heart failure were also achieved in case studies. In a study by Kikuji Yamashita, concluded that far infrared energy radiation not only increased the motion of the water molecules, but also the blood circulation affecting skin and organ regeneration, prostate inflammation, new bone formation, and inhibited mastasis of cancer cells. Unfortunately, man-made therapeutic devices known as infrared heat lamps are expensive and in many instances have mixed emissions outside of the far infrared spectrum. Calcium montmorillonite emits a constant far infrared energy pattern that increases with intensity when warmed to body temperature. So how do we get a pure crystal? First, Dan Golden mines it by hand. In its raw form, it's 87% montmorillonite crystal and 13% calcium sulfate. Then we send it to a mill and have it classified to remove the calcium sulfate and volcanic rocks. 